hi everyone welcome to our youtube channel today i'm going to talk about how to create a dot plot in spss so first you should have a uh, a very a column with data like this so i'm going to create a dot plot for number of copy shops so in order to find the do, a dot plot in uh, spss first you should go to graphs then uh, choose this chart builder and here within this window you should press ok then you will see the chart builder window like this so in order to create the dot plot first you should choose this scatter slash dot option and here there are several options the first one is simple scatter plot so on but since you need to find a dot plot you should choose this option simple dot plot and next what you need to do is you should simply drag and drop this option like this to here okay so then after that you should choose the column name or the variable name that you need to create the dot plot so here i'm going to create a dot plot for this number of copy shops and select this option and drag it over here because i need this number of copy shops as my x-axis because that is the variable that i need to create my dot plot so choose this one and drag it to the x-axis like this then after that you should um, press ok so this is my dot plot so you can see the data is skewed right because here you have a peak at the beginning and there's a heavy tail over here so it is a right skewed distribution so based on a dot plot you can uh, describe the distribution of a particular variable so when you if you have created a dot plot for the for your other variable again go to uh, chart builder like this and instead of choosing the number of copy shops now i'm going to choose the heart rate as my x variable like this so and press ok so now you can see it is somewhat symmetric right so because here at the middle you have the peak and it is somewhat symmetric so based on these dot plots you can describe whether a particular distribution is symmetric or right skewed or left skewed okay so that's it for today and if you think this video is useful to you please like this video and subscribe my youtube channel to get more useful videos in future thank you